Energy Systems is looking at uh, energy from a wide uh, viewpoint. Uh, the student can study alternative or they can look at generation, electricity, distribution, smart grid, or they can concentrate on buildings and energy systems and buildings. That's one of the three paths that they could take. We're going to get a little bit deeper into the theory of energy. Uh, we're going to cover various aspects of energy. First of all, develop a, a fundamental understanding of what energy is, and then uh, take a look at the applications of energy. Ferris has a long legacy in energy, energy control, energy efficiency, and we've really developed quite a name, uh, not only in Michigan, but nationally for energy. You know, green, sustainability, you know, all these terms we throw out there. Um, green uh, is part of the program because green means, you know, make it so we're not in, you know, harming our environment, that we're doing a better job on our environment. And, the student will learn, you know, what types of uh, well, lighting, as an example. Um, there's still a lot of incandescent lighting out there. Got to get rid of it. They're going to stop making those bulbs. There's a lot of new schemes, a lot of new ways of doing it. My study, my students will be exposed to that. Uh, we'll, you know, I've got people lined up that are going to come in and talk to the students about various things, such as lighting. So it won't be just the faculty teaching. We're going to get industry people to come in and teach the students. I kind of want to study the energy system degree at Ferris. It's because like they kind of like started up while I was still in electrical and mechanical, and it was easy for me to switch from mechanical to energy systems since they're pretty close together. Plus, energy systems is pretty interesting. While we have energy concentrated in the HVAC program, uh, which is very popular right now. Uh, what we needed to do was to address the areas of energy that HVAC doesn't uh, address. The first class you'll be taking is Energy to Cradle, which basically uh, somewhat of introduction to like energy, alternative energies and energy physicists. Third year is like when you start taking energy classes. And after that, you have to take an internship to get some hands-on experience and uh, workforce out there. And your fourth year is mostly energy classes. Basically you learn the regulations, the uh, environment, so that way you won't harm the environment and protect it. Because uh, it's basically one of the reasons why they're being built, to not harm the environment. The program uh, uh, became available this fall, uh, fall of uh, oh, uh, 2010 is when the, uh, the first students um, were officially entered into the program. Uh, actually, I've had some students who wanted to start the program earlier, and I said, hey, it's not in place yet. It's not approved by the board. Uh, we'll start anyway, because a lot of the first uh, year courses were already in place. Plus, I've been interested for many years. I've been in energy for 40 years and really wanted a degree like this. I wish it had a degree like this when I was back in college. Uh, because it's a, it's a great opportunity and uh, we know that energy is going to be on the top of the list for the next 50 years. So it's, it's a very important program and it's a step forward. So within the curriculum what we're doing is we're taking those courses from each of the areas, HVAC, uh, electrical, mechanical, uh, and manufacturing and so forth, that all are applicable to energy and providing that foundation to our students. And then uh, in the uh, final year of the program, the student will be able to concentrate in an area where some of the HVAC classes are part of that concentration. Well, our, every student that is deciding to go to Ferris or another school that also provides an energy system program, I was explaining to them that Ferris have, well, college of technology have really good hands-on experience. It's coming and we're kind of thrilled about it and uh, I think it's, a, it's going to be a great program for students to get into. 
Ferris has some very distinct advantages over most schools. And I don't think we realize it sometimes, but Ferris is a teaching institution. And what that means is, is that we focus our resources on teaching students, preparing students who are going for a Bachelor of Science degree. Uh, this concentration in a Bachelor degree is, like I had mentioned also, very unique. And the fact that we're combining that with our background and our legacy for applied knowledge, I think is a, a very good advantage for a student because not only is he going to learn the theory behind all of this, but he's going to have uh, a continuous application experience with the technology.